listening to the White Wall Sessions Radio. Welcome to the White Wall Sessions Radio. I'm your host, Dan Schaefer. On tonight's show, part three of Luke Callen, Jonathan Bird and the Pickup Cowboys, and the People Brothers Band. Find us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter by searching the White Wall Sessions. We are now accepting submissions for Season 8. To apply, visit whitewallsessions.com slash appear. The White Wall Sessions would like to thank these fine sponsors for their support. Last Stop CD Shop, Bell Incorporated, Workplace IT Management, Ben's Brewing Company, Screenflare, J. Rick Music, The Pink Moon Room, Minuteman Press, and South Dakota Friends of Traditional Music. Luke Callan returned to the White Wall Sessions for a solo session in Season 7. Luke had previously appeared on the show in Season 4 with the Colorado-based group Von Stomp. A lacrosse Wisconsin native, Luke currently calls Minneapolis home, but spends many days of the year touring throughout the country. trying to write not as as many tunes about uh, myself or my personal like my feelings I think I, li- I like to write about my feelings or my thoughts on things but um, I'm trying to um, there's so many good stories out there and there's so many people that need uh, their stories to be told um, that I, I'm trying to focus a lot more on uh, incor- incorporating other folks stories um, so yeah, I mean it's it's kind of it's it, and that that being said, I don't always do that. You know, I don't. I try. I, and there's you got to give yourself up to, um, you know, there is a cathartic nature to like songwriting. And some of that is just like some sort of like releasing what's what you need to get out there. But 
then it's what you choose to put on a record, and that gets into like this whole other thing. So I mean, yeah. Well, let's talk about your record. You got a, oh, at cool. least two of them. You have one that released in June under yeah. your under your nose, below right? your nose, below your nose, spelled K O N S. Yeah, B B E L O W below um, your nose, K N O W S. I thought it was really funny. <laughs> I is, thought that was so really clever, clever, and I was just thought I was laughing to myself. And I, um, <laughs> and the original title of the album was going to be called Hard Sardine. And I liked the internal rhyming of Hard Sardine. And um, I thought, um, and then I have this story that I wrote called Hard Sardine. So there's going to be this whole thing. And then um, uh, I had a friend tell me that they thought that Hard Sardine was um, too phallic of a... <laughs> of a title and it, you, you don't want to give off the wrong impression. And that really got, got to me. And I kept thinking about that. Like, man, am I like, is this a little over the top? And then I had like this sort of come to moment and I was in bed and it's like, blow your nose, but spelled like this. And I thought it was, I started laughing and I wrote it down. And then the next day I like put it up. I, that, that's what the, t- the record's going to be called. And I was like, well, I guess I got to go with it now. And, um, but yeah, I just put that out um, June 26th, and um, yeah, I recorded it with my buddy Noah Short down in Winona, Minnesota, um, just on um, the Minnesota side of the Mississippi River, and um, we spent three days in September of 2018 He's got a nice little home studio that was so cozy and comfortable, and he we just had a couple mics and you know turned them on and um i think i recorded uh like 21 or 22 songs in those three days just a lot of one take stuff and it was kind of what i was going for i wanted to get just like a very bare bones sort of like quote unquote uh folk record out sat on it for a long time and Um, wasn't really sure what to do with it and just uh, decided to kind of just roll with it and put it out and
So they call you a tail Threat to all man Say your faith has no place In that foreign sand And I wonder if Jesus He failed the same Preaching at the temple Is that okay, or is that it? Is that all the time we have? Okay, cool. It's a short one. Sweet. I'll do one more song. Um, uh, thanks for coming and hanging out. I appreciate that, y'all. Uh, yeah. um, thanks for entertaining. <laughs> groovy, yeah. Uh, I like to go walking outside a lot, so this is a song I wrote after... Um, Long walk outside. It's called a walk out of doors. Take heed, take heed, said the stream that I pace. I know where I am going, know that I shall last to try. Sitting sun. Go forth, go forth, said the man where I stood. Ahead of them past Jesus, brotherhood. Past damp and city sidewalks and the hand tolling gun. Go forth, said the middle in a sitting sun. Take cover, take cover, say in the beating rain. I fall upon the victors and those they have slain. On ten thousand four, yes, and ten thousand songs. Oh, take cover, said the rain, in a sitting sun. After the break, Jonathan Bird in the pickup cowboy. Thanks, Thanks, man. You are 
listening to the White Wall Sessions Radio. Hi, I'm Ben Hanton, founder of Ben's Brewing Company. At Ben's, we've always appreciated the finer things in life, like great friends, great music, and great beer. Ben's Brewing Company is proud to announce our White Wall Session Ale. This light pale ale is sourced from the finest local ingredients and pairs exceptionally well with great friends and great music. Enjoy responsibly. Ben's Brewing Company, Yankton, South Dakota. Good people drink Ben's beer. You are listening to the White Wall Sessions Radio. With an arsenal of new material and backing drummer, Jonathan Bird returned to the studio to perform for Season 7. With rich storytelling and swelling dynamics, Jonathan Bird and the Pickup Cowboys stunned the live audience with a stellar performance. Jonathan Bird and the Pickup Cowboys are Jonathan Bird, guitar and vocals, Johnny Waken, guitar, mandolin, saw and vocals, and Austin McCall, drums, bass, and vocals. Come away to the meadow, I'll sing you a song. And I'll pick you a daisy for the summer so long. Let's run to the fallow. Your maids 
He's all in yellow and the jacks by your side. I brought your maids all in yellow and the jacks by your Am I good at it? Uh, I, I don't know when that part happened, and I don't really know when I started writing. That was just always a, a thing that I did. I always wrote uh, poetry, or I just wrote about my feelings. Um, I don't know when I started playing music. Really, there were just instruments around in the house, um, and it's just it was always a thing that I did. That's how I expressed myself. Mostly, it just stayed in my notebooks. I didn't show anybody. Or, share it with anyone. Um, but when I started playing music, I discovered that bands needed songs. Um, and I really enjoyed original music. Like, I like when I go see in a band and they're playing their own songs. Some people like to hear the songs they're familiar with, but I like to hear what, what people have to say. Um, so it was just kind of default to me. I was like, well, I, I guess I'll have to write some songs. So we have some songs. And so I started writing songs, and I, I don't think I really got good at it until I discovered a, a form of acoustic music called old time, which is sort of pre-bluegrass social music. It's not really performance music. It's like anybody who can halfway play an instrument or sing something, everybody's in the band, and you get together for a big party, and people have food and dancing or whatever, and everybody plays some tunes that everybody knows, that, you know, 100 years old, these fiddle tunes or songs or whatever. So old time music, it's really stripped down. You don't have what they would call a bridge in the music business. Sometimes not even a chorus or a second part at all. It'd just be a repeating part that you would sing this story over. And maybe the last line of the verse would have sort of the phrase. Uh, or maybe not, like um, like Girl from the North Country is a really good example of a, a modern song that's written in that old style. It's just a story. and It doesn't have a chorus. It doesn't have a thing that you sing along with. All right, everybody, here we go. You know, it doesn't have that. Um, so I think when I heard that and learned those kind of songs that were stripped down that way, it really revealed to me what songs were about, and how you communicate a message. You either have a chronology or you develop a character, or there's some kind of focus that people can really grab onto and visualize what you're talking about. And I think that's when I kind of got good at writing songs and at pulling people in with a story. Sure, and that kind of goes back to what we were talking about before. It's that connection. I mean, there's, mm -hmm. there's sort of an industry. You write songs kind of like the, the old writers of the 50s or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, all those people went into a room, punched in, and wrote songs. That's right. And there's this yeah. piece and this piece in the middle eight. And the, but the, like you were just talking, there's, that comes, you, brings you back to that sharing the experience with other people mm -hmm. through, a, through music and words that really make, you know, get, get emotions. Mm -hmm. going. Absolutely. And it can be so simple. It's crazy. I'm crazy for feeling so. And everybody's just like, yeah, I know that. I know how that feels. And, and then you're in, it doesn't have to be clever for sure. So when you're writing, do you ever struggle with, okay, I just wrote something. That's a poem. 
should that be a song? Or do you sit down to, to write songs, or do you just put your ideas on a paper and then it, they... Rarely, it, I have gone, I've crossed over with a piece that I realized, oh, this is not a song, it's a poem, or this is not a poem, it's a song. Um, rarely, I've written a song that also can be a poem. Could be back in Sioux Falls, the White Walls. Sioux Falls, the White Walls. I'm a songwriter, this is how I think. All right. Love it, Shell, tonight. It's my buddy Johnny Wakin playing the harp right now. Austin McCall on the drums. The Pickup Cowboys. And my name is Jonathan Bird. It's all lit up like Christmas. Uh, there's a skyline of flame. Metal halide lights up the prairie night All the way out to the plains And out on the low horizon The sunrise burns my eyes The shining off of the tankers And the flatbeds hauling pipe We all need the money, babe Trains run two miles long. Well, some guys phone their money home, or oh, they drink until it's gone. Ranch hands learn to roughneck, yeah, they're all lined up to work. Well, there's another boom, and there ain't no room, so they sleep out in their trucks. We all need the money, babe. Where the miners bled with their dreams in their heads Till the river ran out of gold I look over miles of burning rigs God knows how much it's worth Then the stars go black and the sun comes back And it's time to go to work We all need the money, baby can
Quaken on electric guitar. Coming up after the break, the People Brothers Band. You are listening to the White Wall Sessions Radio. Hi, I'm Ben Hanton, founder of Ben's Brewing Company. At Ben's, we've always appreciated the finer things in life, like great friends, great music, and great beer. Ben's Brewing Company is proud to announce our White Wall Session Ale. This light, pale ale is sourced from the finest local ingredients and pairs exceptionally well with great friends and great music. Enjoy responsibly. Ben's Brewing Company, Yankton, South Dakota. Good people drink Ben's beer. You are listening to the White Wall Sessions Radio. With an electrified performance and a robust soul, the People Brothers Band delivered an unbelievable session. Their contagious sound and positive vibes energize the crew and live studio audience. Traveling from Madison, Wisconsin, the group's mission is to spread love and share their passion for music. The People Brothers Band is Teresa Marie, vocals, Bobby G, keys and vocals, Craig Bauman, guitar and vocals, Greg Schmidt, drums and vocals, Elliot Walks, saxophone, Tim Lochner, guitar and vocals, and Scott Lochner on bass.
They've seen many miles My eyes reflect the sky I see right through their smiles I know Mr. Robert Brown over there, my brother Bobby G on the keys. Everybody understands, and deep inside of us, nothing that comes out on stage is a front. It's all what we're feeling, and we just give it to you. And it's like the rest of the world. Energy is absolutely shared, and when we're giving you love, you're giving us love right back. And it's the reason it just keeps bouncing around, and it just keeps growing. And I believe that's what we're put here for in this world, and... Hopefully it just keeps spreading. I believe. Well, so you do it very effectively because there's incredible musicianship in this band. So, I mean, let's start with that awesome rhythm section. <laughs> yeah, guys. let's do that. Yeah. <laughs> I like the oh, sound of that. Good work, Scott. Good work. <laughs> you're, getting to, you're getting to know it. <laughs> I mean, you guys yeah. are in, and you're just laying it. That, that's got to feel good because that's being in the rhythm section of a band like this is pretty cool. Yeah, and when usually we have we got we usually got brother Craig playing um, hand drums too. You know, he was tearing it up on the guitar tonight. But usually, so it's you know it's 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 so fun. It's just fun being the heartbeat. It's fun getting that yeah. rolling, and it's fun just getting the party going all the time. And bass, I mean, <laughs> you were thank you. <laughs> you got the funk, but you got you got the you know exactly what to do with that. I never know what Scotty's doing, but it, I never, I'm never concerned about it. <laughs> That's when you know you got somebody special because you like, I'm like, I don't know what he's because sometimes he's doing the, this. I know. You know, most bass players have like the thing where they're really in their thing and they use a pick or they use their fingers or he's kind of throwing it all in there and a lot of genre mixing. So I, I never know what Scotty's going to be doing back there. It's a, it's an inspiring. <laughs> It's uh, the kind of music we play. It's fun. We, we jump around to so many different styles. We've all, every one of us has grown up listening to different music. And we all have, you know, we all have our favorites. But somehow we come together. And it's just one of those things. I, I have so much freedom to play. But in a band like this, it's also important not to play a lot. You know, the space in an eight-piece band, when you can find space, you should probably take it. You know, <laughs> and you guys deliver that space. I mean, you you share that space 
it's just amazing for this amount of people. It's really great. Because let's talk, when I mean, we layer these guitars on there, then you guys are trading off. And I know you're, you're typically uh, percussion, but <laughs> I love your guitar. It just means I have tons of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm usually back there just like. <laughs> and sometimes I sing a lot of parts. If I hear something in my head, I'll just sing it. You know, as if I was a sax player or something and try not to be like too intrusive about it, but just sing it. But when I get to play guitar, I can play some of those ideas and I can also get in on what everybody else is doing. Down on the farm where the old man sent me, down on the farm I got so...
The White Wall Sessions is recorded at Last Stop Studios in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and is produced by Spectrum Films Incorporated. Executive producers are Jeff Zuger, Doug Taylor, Greggy Johnson, and Jay Fishback. Head of broadcast is Dave Palmer. Associate producer is Mike Yeager. The White Wall Sessions Radio is produced and edited by Jeff Zuger. Audio recording and mixing by Carl Koiser, Kevin Phipps, and Dave Palmer. Scheduling and Artist Relations, Tom Eisner. I'm your host, Dan Schaefer. Join us next week, same time, same station. You are listening to the White Wall Sessions Radio.